house to uh, the evoker's house. Invoker, evoker. I'm not sure what those mobs are called. They're like an evil version of villagers. And their woodland mansion is a massive structure. I mean, huge mungus. Well, the last time I came here to this woodland mansion, oh, and in front of you, you see the, the, the head of my show you my horse yeah okay so the first time I came here I got lost multiple times getting here and getting home even though I did have this map with me although the map at the time was just a really rough line drawing of brown lines with nothing filled in um, and I had full pockets I had to leave behind some of the stuff I had and just kind of pray that I had the tools I needed for the return journey home and could, didn't have to give up any of my treasures. So when I got to the Woodland Mansion, I did some YouTube video searches to find out what sort of things I can expect to find here. And I, be, you know, I, I began to explore. It was greatly disappointing to me that there were no hidden rooms, there was no gold room, gold covered in lava room. Uh, there was a number of other rooms that were supposed to show up that just weren't here. Nothing. Just nothing. So I had, I went home and unloaded my pockets and then I began this four month building journey to create a highway uh, and from I mean from here the highway in question is not especially remarkable looking because in some places it's just torches to, through the trees and steps up and down on the hills and furthermore I did not do the shovel path making in this last stretch but you can see down there where the pig is um, those brown stripes that represent stairs going up the hill the highway heads off then underneath that long ridge through a tunnel and homeward it takes an hour to fly it but what we're doing right now is this this used to extend all the way as far as that this brown and there used to be walls all over the place the walls are now gone and the ceilings are soon to follow. This was a floor that the roof of the mansion had already gone. Now the third floor is going, and after that the second floor will go. And then the first floor, including foundation. And I'm putting it all in these trunks, which are from the mansion. There's already three trunks dark oak planks. I have a trunk of dark oak chunks. I have a trunk of organics including a variety of plants and wools and rugs. I have all of the non-dark oak woods. There will be a lot more birch in here when I'm done because if you look you can see that all the floors are birch. And there will be lots more carpet too. I have all of the stairs because stairs are used as decorative elements and so there's quite a lot more than there were actual stairs I have all the organics including the books or all the made stuff including the books from the book cases and a couple of diamond hoes that I'll use when I get home they'll be handy I've got a lever and an iron door and I actually got a couple of banners that'll be fun to play with because I still don't know how to create those so um, yeah I'll take you up to see the end of the highway. See, I really ought to be taking a shovel to this and marking it because it would look pretty, but I'm just too eager to get to work. And uh, the highway continues on up here. You can see this is pretty well, I guess this is the start of the highway if, uh, if you're heading home. And it just keeps going and going and going and going long into the distance this highway goes. This is what I mean about taking the shovel and making paths. Creating those funny little brown splotches that mark the land off differently from elsewhere. 
and the purpose being to keep you from straying from the road because I don't always have to build in slabs and stairs see in here it would be very easy to feel lost when you get to this point right here you'd be oh where do I go especially now that the Woodland Mansion is almost completely gone there's just the floors left it's been raised when I got back there were two evokers I hadn't killed the last time I was here one I cornered in the house and the other one I cornered in this narrow rock alleyway between what used to be a wall here and the cliff that surrounds it there's just this little area he was down here in the corner trembling facing the corner just Ooh, so nervous so scared and the thing is because I play in peaceful mode the game wouldn't let him fight back so I just I slaughtered him with a pickaxe so I basically come back here to completely destroy it because I didn't like because I, I didn't feel like I got enough treasure when I stole the booty the last time I was in so in vengeance I am tearing the thing down to the ground and have slaughtered all of the rest of the evokers, the legitimate residents, who were just minding their own business, being perfectly innocent, and didn't have anything worth stealing in the first place, and I did it anyway. This game really encourages the evil to come out, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, so it's a huge project, and I've been at it a couple of weeks now, just doing teardown. I'm not even talking about, um, you know, creating stuff at this point. And I don't know what I'm going to do with all this material. A great deal of it will definitely be brought home, but some of it's just, um, I'm looking at all that dark oak and thinking, what am I going to do with three trunks full of dark oak? So I'm just running along the edge with my axe out. Now, what did I ax you about? for ar, 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 ar. that is a funny little funny little dialectal variant from the states that you can make fun of I axed you ar, I'm gonna ax this wood if it knows where the treasure is ar. so I'm just basically whoops I, I go into crouch mode and I just move sideways taking out the wood well I watch videos on the YouTube because <laughs> frankly this is kinda boring it's a peculiar kind of boring because it's also kind of exciting because the more I clear, the more I, I don't know. I like making things tidy. Everything is getting all organized, neat and tidy and packaged and ready to use. And I guess it's that sense of having resources ready to go. You know, like when you walk into your pantry and all the shelves are crammed full of well-organized, delicious things that you get to eat over the next few months. Or... You can buy fresh stuff and save that for that week or month or year when you can't really afford a lot of food. And that won't matter because instead of buying food, you'll eat the pantry, the, the pantry contents. And that's kind of what this material feels like in the game when I do this. And if I, I was to take down a whole forest to get all this wood, the forest wouldn't really regrow. They do regrow. Yes, you plant the saplings and they regrow. But only if you stick around long enough. And uh, this way I don't have to tear the forest down. Also, you can't grow them as close together as they spawn in nature. They won't, they won't sprout when they're that close together. They just refuse. So that's another good reason to be happy about getting the wood from the woodland mansion instead of the woodland itself. So yeah, I've just been grinding it really going and going and going this is where the old window sills used to be I just broke all the glass I did not bother with silk touch pickaxe and it would have been challenging to do so anyway because all of those spells and and tools are back home and like I said it's an hour journey and I will be making that hourly journey with p full pockets at least twice Possibly more, I don't know. I've been wondering if I should try to get a llama or a mule and bring it back so I can carry more stuff. But they really don't carry a lot. 
One trunk is not very much. Double trunk would be nice. And yeah, I I only have well I'm wondering, in fact, if I take my time, how many llamas with trunks can I actually bring along in a train? But I'm reluctant because if a llama wanders off and he's the one that's holding my treasure, I'm going to be sore vexed, I'll tell you. I think I'd rather just do the route. Yes, the option exists of using a train system, but I'd have to get the train tracks or find an abandoned mine near here. I wasn't supposed to continue this way. I'm supposed to just do those two sides until I get up to the stairs. So, I, um... Yeah, I don't have the minecart materials here, and I really don't have that much at home that I could actually do this whole long stretch. So I'm not going to be doing it that way. I'm going to be using the horse. But I have another, uh, I have a clone of myself at a way station, at the, the most, the last way station back. And that clone of myself can, is runs off of my PC. So I'm playing on the Xbox, but I can also bring myself in on my PC into the game and then bring that self over to the house to help ferry materials. And uh, there's no way to stream that that avatar. I can stream it from, you know, if, if I bring this one over to, to watch the journey would be the only way to stream it. Yeah, you want me to do that? Okay. Let me gather up all of the material. I'm not going to collect the carpet because it'll fall off naturally when I hammer off the wood and then it'll just get picked up rather than worrying about hitting those blocks twice. Look at all these blocks. That's you got to watch out. I I've hit the hit the floor a little too hard a few times. This truly is a ruin. Oh. And yes, uh demolition site, you know, safety first. Watch out for holes in the floor. <laughs> uh, the floor won't be there that much longer. I am taking it out. Oh, and you know, you don't get them all in the first pass. You have to go back and forth a bunch of times to get them all. See, that's where I've been gradually peeling back this, the, the roof above. And uh, when it rains, I have a bed under the stairs to allow me to turn off the rain and I can protect my horse because while I was building... Oh wow, some of these are already beginning to despawn. While I was building the highway, I, my, both my horse and I got struck by lightning, which was a bit of a shock to me. I hadn't expected that. I think the sun just set. Nope. Did the sun just rise? Oh, the sun is rising. Okay. Well, let's grab the horse. I have to empty my pockets before I go to the way station. But uh, that doesn't take long when you're nicely organized like this. Let's see, all the planks here, all of these planks. I've got a couple of the blocks. Uh, a stair. I've got a birch. And I've got stone. There we go. And let's take the horse back to the previous way station. I feel like I should take some of the treasures with me to that way station. Start ferrying them homeward. Well, there's only two treasures, it looks like. Yeah, there really is only two treasures. Well, I'll start carrying them. Yeah, it's a long journey. It's The way station's not too far away. But here's the funny thing. It was impossible to see any sign of that woodland mansion from this side. That's the same swamp over there, and you can see that island from the mansion. But that hill completely obscures the mansion. And so it, it, it was it was slow going to find this place. You can see what I mean about how I've marked the highway. 
there's lighting and there's in you know in, in places where it's quite dangerous where the trees are close or there's a drop off or where there's a drop off I have oh I really need to I, I really need to get my hands running on the other okay I'm having a little bit of difficulty with getting my my uh, PC online I'm gonna just hold here when I get my PC online I will show up in in this hut my clone will show up because I want to get my clone in and uh, I'm not showing up here wait what yes okay so I am showing up I know I need to get my need to get my controller in the game so horse won't go anywhere now there she is he is there you go hi so there I'm in both games at once how cool is that yeah I'm not much good at but the thing that I would do now huh would be to grab one of these horses all right now you can't see what what's going on haha <laughs> parked on the fence Oh, all right. Let's let's chain these two together. And the cow arrived one day, uninvited, just arrived here in the little shelter. This shelter was designed to allow us to keep our horses and ourselves safe from thunderstorms and lightning strikes. Okay, there you go. Let's see. Whoops. Alrighty. Better catch up. What I'm doing right now is I'm running both of these characters at the same time, one person. So hands on one controller, hands on the other. And you get to watch this one. Head back to the Woodland Mansion. where I cannot get off the horse until I get a corral made because I only have the one lead and so I have to corral my horse for the other one I got the lead from the Woodland Mansion that was the one useful bit of kit that this mansion provided me was the lead Um, really happy to have one because you can't have a lead in peaceful mode if you want to have a lead you have to kill a slime and in order to get a slime you have to turn on monsters and I keep saying I'll do that I'll do that but I really don't want to do that by myself to tell you the truth so instead I am going to just build a corral. Let's see. I want to build it out here, um, but under the trees to protect from lightning strikes. Yes, I'll build a corral down in here. That's not a good spot. 
let's move that. I stop talking when I'm concentrating, and I'm concentrating on this fence building. So, yeah, we'll just build ourselves this little corral here. And the horses can just jump over the fence. Uh, a little piece of carpet will make it easier f to get up and over the fence. You can put a piece of carpet on the fence and that allows you to jump over it but not mobs of various sorts. I really should put this Totem of Undying in place of the woodland map because it's fancy man. Yes, it's fancy. And we're going to put this back because I really didn't need it. Okay, let's go put the carpet on here. Like so. See, and then you go wink, wink, just like that. Now, let's watch the other horse and rider head on over here. If I could run both at the same time, I could much more quickly manage to tear this down. Where's the sun at? Ah, yes. Well, I'm going to end this video here. This is the progress. Uh, another week or so and it should be completely torn down. Hmm. Yeah, you can see the totem und undying in the hands. That's pretty neat. Oh, good one, horsey. Just tromp all over our beds just before bedtime. <laughs> I'm going to end the video here, end the stream here, which is also ending the video. <laughs>